Greetings RC friends, welcome to Crops and Wheels. I have my dear friend Tim here. As you know, he's an enthusiast. You may have watched some of his videos uh, reviewing older airplanes, like uh, little yeah. park flyers. And here I have a present for him. I would like to review it together. It's, this is not it. Wow. It is in this box, oh. but it is exactly the same. This is the one that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. And it was not a very successful review because, well, this was not doing with that well. It was not well balanced and it was losing control. But I bet with his tinkering skills, Tim will build a much better one than mine. Wow. So here are the pieces. So they, they, it really comes in this kind of like a bag with uh, these four yeah. pieces. Wow. Put stuff in the bag. Did it come in a bag with the antenna sticking out? You the know, antenna, like... yes, exactly. <laughs> the antenna was sticking out and don't uh, don't open the bag because the sticks are actually in the battery compartment. Ah, so at the Super. end, after about spending one hour or so with a little bit of glue, if you have hot glue or uh, if you know, foam yeah. glue, well, it, will, it will look like this. But I'm assuming you are going to do a better job with building and balancing it than I do. It and resembles the baby, you know, the two pusher props. Yeah, with so pusher props, two channel, but uh, this didn't do well. It's a little bit, a little cruder, you know, someone with the poster board. Yep. Exactly, mm. it's like, but I mean, they, they, they try to make it colorful. Yeah. It is fun, it looks fun, though the, unfortunately it doesn't fly fun. Like, uh, uh, yeah, very tail heavy, so that, that was All right, well, thing. you know, we'll figure that out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back, so stay tuned. Uh, so now we are going into time lapse or we're like a time jump and then we'll be back here with this build. All right. Adios. All right, folks, we are back through the time travel and Tim has completed that little DIY airplane and hopefully it will be making its first maiden flight right now. But this is what happened during the last one week. So Feta, my buddy from uh Props and wheels, gave me this little plane to put together. Uh, it's foam, some kind of foam core board. Uh, it's got a pretty cool graffiti design. It says skate over here. Skate. And uh, so the pieces are a little bit, a little bit warped. Um, and the wing is kind of warped. Uh, it would probably flatten out when I put in this spar um, and glue these together, but I'm gonna actually flatten, see if I can just flatten a little bit with the iron if that works and then and then go from there. Uh, I'm moving this motor from this is the original position. I'm moving it over a half inch because these things steer with dif differential thrust and I think if the motor is out a little bit, um, it'll just uh, be a little more responsive to turning. These, the original ones just seem a little too close together to me. So I'm moving them out forward half an inch. And uh, I'm, I'm just cutting out this, this is my new notch and then I'm just moving the piece over into the old notch. So I worked on the wing a little bit. Um, it was really flat and floppy, and uh, it would have stiffened up a little bit and curved when I put it through the slot and the fuselage, but I decided to make some little slots, slices in the uh, front of the wing and bend a little curve into it. Um, and then I put some glue in the slot. And I also added some wingtip dehedrals because it it was a flat wing, it had no dihedral in it at all. So it's got a little bit more of a curve and the airfoil and some wingtip dihedral now. And I carved a little bit off the back of the fuselage because Feta's model, the same model, was tail heavy. So that might help a little bit. Um, so I think that'll, it looks pretty good so far. Okay, now that you have seen what Tim did, now you are, he's going to very, very briefly yeah. tell you the improvements that he has done on this plane. Um, okay, so the wing was really flat, 
uh, out of the box, so I, uh, I put some little slots here. I think I said that in the other. And I made, I bent it into a more of an airfoil, with, and I glued it, secured it with glue. Can you show it sideways? So I, like, let's see that airfoil um, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of curvature. Yeah, and so I, I did that and I sent you a video. Tiptahedrals. Yeah, and I also put in the tiptahedrals. Um, I'm not sure I mentioned the nose. Um, the original nose was like this, mm -hmm. and I could have put some lead, some weight on it to balance it, but I just made the nose longer to that's balance. That's so. ingenious. So, wow, you even put the uh, look at look at the pilot. Wow. Oh yeah, I put a little now. pilot. I was gonna have him. Yeah. That's Tim. <laughs> that's it is a hat. <laughs> um, mini Tim, <laughs> mini me. <laughs> yeah, that's fat and that's me. <laughs> um, I increased the rudder a little bit. The rudder looked a little small. Um, so I have some a trim tab here for the elevator also oh, in case a, it needs a tweak. Um, I carved off a little bit of foam from the tail Amazing. on the sides. I don't know if it mattered because it was so tail heavy. It was heavy. so tail heavy. I mean, it's just it's crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, I know you, you like to fly things out of the box because that's how you get it mm -hmm. and then fix any problems. But um, yeah, I don't, you know, it was so out of the box. So now, Feta, it's, see, I'm on the spar. On the spar, yeah, it is um, dead on, hopefully. It will fly nicely. I don't know what it's, else to do. So far, it's very promising. I, I, the corners are sharp. It doesn't really matter for for streamlining. But I carved, you know, just the corners, just sanded, just made it smooth. Um, what else did I do? That's about it. Um, I think, I think it's going to do great. I don't know. So we discovered the. Uh, oh, you know, and I'll, I also mentioned this in a clip. I moved the motors out towards the tips. They were originally oh, yes. here. You made slots and then yeah, moved them out, it, right? It, yeah. And, and then you oh, you cut it and then cast yeah, it back in there. Because okay, it, it cool. kind of, this one, they're, they're a little oh, this, By now. the way, that's QF002, uh, baby. Yeah. That's a great, that's our favorite airplane. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up on that one. <laughs> Only $25 and this was $22, yeah. so. All right, looks like okay. we, we got some. Let's uh, move to a little uh, open space over here, maybe. All right, happy flying. Whoa! Did it stabilize now? I'm really having a little bit of a <laughs> uh, It was flying very good for, for a while. Did you Enough. launch a full, full throttle? Yeah, but I cut it back. It was doing crazy. The yeah, I think, I think half throttle for this one will be <laughs> enough. Do you want to try again? Yeah. Really, when I turn it, it, it drops out of the sky. Oh! When I turn it, it goes upside down. Okay, so maybe it is. That's the reason they made it a little uh, tail heavy. So I think when you're turning, it just needs to go. A little... you can you can you push the battery slightly back and see how uh, it changes it? Yeah. That will probably help it with the balancing. Because you don't have elevator control I when can't. you are turning, and this is, by the way, folks, Tim just confirmed that uh, this is on off. It is not proportional. Yeah. So, although throttle is proportional, yeah. the right left turns, like a, it's applying full power to right or I left to, um, or both. I'll try again. Um, so, is the oh, battery now kind, yeah, kind of like in the middle? Um, okay. If it is a slightly tail heavy, it will help with the turns. Yeah. Okay, I, I couldn't even tell if it was tail. I couldn't even tell what it's doing. All right. All right. And do like a quick, quick turns, like short bursts because... I'm really, I'm just flipping it, literally just... And I'm cutting the power down now. It's really unstable. Okay, it stabilized a little bit. He's rocking back and forth and rolling. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, uh, maybe stability control is taking over. I'm gonna land it. Okay, next to your car. All right, let's retrieve that. Okay, I think uh, Tim this time is going to not give full throttle, but a little over half throttle.
looks like it's really stalling. I'm gonna land it and get it out. So I'm gliding now. Wow, look at that. Well, the gliding tells me that it is well balanced actually. Yeah. When there's no power. All right, let's try again. Okay. Not oh, too much really, throttle. Really climbs on, uh... Yeah, the turns are very abrupt. That's the problem. Because it's not proportional. Okay, I've just got a little bit of throttle. It's really overpowered. You know what? It really has a lot of power. So that's downwind and it just it's just it has no roll stability. No, I can't. I'm facing the power to try and turn it. Okay, we got a little breeze coming up. Look, it's stable now with the breeze, but it's, it's that roll thing. Man. You know what? I'm going to try and turn it. You know what? I'm going to turn it in a circle and keep it in a circle. Wow. wow, it did a loop, I think, right? Uh, All right, I'm gonna try and do it in a right, right hand circle. I just, I just, I'm really having trouble keeping it stable. It is difficult to go against the wind, I think. It's trying to turn down wind automatically, yeah, I right? I think the wind might be more of a factor than... I just can't, I'm trying to just get it into a circle, a stable circle, and I just, I just... Because of the on-off, I just... Oh. Well, you are flying it. I mean, it has been in the air for a while now. I bet when there's no wind, it's, this is going to be easier to... to con the throttle. I'm not yeah, you have to pulse the throttle, the throttle right? Because it's not proportional, you have to pulse it. Well, the throttle is proportional, but yeah. I'm pulsing it anyway. The turning is... Oh, I see the throttle. Not, 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 I told you you're yeah, pulsing I mean, the turn. It's confusing because it turns with the throttle. Oops, I can't see it. Is it full throttle? Can you decrease the throttle a little bit? Can you decrease the throttle a little bit? Decrease, decrease it? Yeah. Like 50% and then, so it's not flying so fast all the time. All right, I'll do a flyby. Yeah, I think, I think it stabilized a little better with less throttle. Oh, good save. All right, well, it is definitely better than mine, that's for sure. It's definitely better than mine, but... The, okay, so, big question. Is this a bud or is this a dud? Well, I, I, I just think that compared to the other plane you can get for the about the same price, it's thumbs down, I hate... I hate to say it's a dud. Oh, uh, it's a dud, I know. Um, and even, you know, with all the improvements that you, you added to it, it's still not flying okay. I mean... There is stability, but control, but yeah. it is over... I think it's all overpowering. Well, tinker with it and then see uh, what... I'm gonna do, do I another one? Power. Look how it's flying. Yeah, I mean, uh, with, with less power, it has, uh, it has better stability yeah, almost. I'm gonna make the thrust the, the thrust of the propeller, um, little, it seems like it's, no matter how much power I apply, it stalls. Uh, so. All right, I'm gonna glide it. I'm gonna try moving the battery forward. It goes down as much. So I'm gonna, um. One more try. I'm gonna put the battery It's going to go faster though. I'm gonna put the, yeah, but it's I'm going open, to, it's but going it does this. I just want to keep the nose down. Yeah, I think it gave a little more stability to it, right? 
but it's flying a little faster. All right. Yeah, I think maybe it was uh, just stalling. Probably the glide will. Wow. Wow. No, it's doing better. I mean, on, on a day that's there's no wind, a calm day, I think this will be okay to fly. So I'm gliding now. You know, it does glide a little bit nose down, but that's okay. No, I think I think you did a quite a bit of improvement to this. It's definitely much better than mine. Now I have to tinker with it and see if I can get it anywhere near the performance that one, you have. The one thing I like about compared to the baby, it has more wingspan, more air wing area. It glides a little better. Yeah, baby so this is more of a glider than an airplane. Compared to two, the, the, that other plane is like that, and this has more uh, uh, more area. So. Um, all right, let's try one more time. A little bit of frog. It still kind of seems to be very overpowered. And, uh, huh. Okay, oh. well, that's it, folks. A little bit less of a dud, but... It, I mean, it's taking me all of my powers to make it fly. So for yeah. beginners, for beginners. <laughs> for beginners, forget it. So, hey, uh, folks, thank you, Tim, for all sharing right. this. That, that this was very informative. But uh, I think one thing I'm going to say to uh, our viewers is, if you're planning to buy this, yes, it is inexpensive. And however, you need to have good tinkering skills. So be ready to start tinkering with it because out of the box, it's not going to fly. And it's going to be a dud. So you yeah. can maybe turn it into a bud. We, you know, Tim did a great job bringing it between a dud and bud, but it's not there yet yeah. completely. So if you like tinkering and making modifications, this is a plane for you because it's so inexpensive. But if you want out of the box flying good plane, which one do you recommend, Tim? Uh, which what the this the, one or the the baby? Yeah, the baby. Oh, uh, the baby. Baby, and I recommend also C17 yeah. that I. Uh, also reviewed uh, on our channel so anyway thank you so much tim for the hard work you put into that uh i don't know what you call this plane uh, it says skate on it i don't know uh, skate <laughs> on it. graffiti plane yeah gravity graffiti plane and uh folks thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for more videos coming especially two channel airplanes i have a bunch of them lined up coming up in the next couple weeks so stay safe and healthy until then, take care, bye-bye.